All right, let's make this quick. I am 608 and BMW. I'm gonna show you how two clients achieve their first key coding procedure on a BMW, all right? A lot of people are scared to you know, mess with BMWs, which I understand why. And if you don't have anybody to, to help guide you through that, I can see how that fear can hold you back. But hopefully this will give you confidence that this can be done. And then with the help of somebody like myself, It'll make things a little bit easier and less risky all right so with that for those of you who don't know welcome to the channel my name is curtis harden i'm an autel diagnostic consultant and what we're going to talk about today is uh understanding the vulnerable learning curve that can potentially uh, hurt your business and reputation all right and how two clients executed their first bmw key coding procedure and then i'm going to share with you one case study on how the client did things the incorrect way so you can learn and you'll know what to look for in the future and then I'm gonna show you the correct way on how to do it all right this repetition is gonna get stuck in your head because when you do things and see things over and over it, it becomes like muscle memory you know you don't really have to think as much okay so hopefully you guys can learn from this all right and what I always notice in the, in the past year of me selling this tool people have uh, three levels of um, let's say problems that they're trying to solve so if it's a basic problem maybe they just want to have the IM608 to I don't know diagnose a vehicle do an oil change then you get other people who say yeah you know what I need to do like a crank relearn with it but then you get other people who want to get the tool that say hey I want to add a key to a Mercedes or, or a BMW now when you do this when you're about to buy the tool there's a gauge of risk that you need to think of so if it's an extreme procedure all right where like you know the system is very complex your risk level is extremely high and for some people this could be really really bad like I'll give you an example I had a client purchased a tool uh, was working on a Mercedes he just wanted to add the key and the key that he was trying to add something was wrong with it and I've noticed when you have a messed up key um, sometimes it, it it just stops the whole mobilizer system the original key won't work so he called me at like you know 11 p.m. and I you know helped him add on the key and stuff like that but a lot of people don't have that that type of uh, you know you know tech support so it, it can be risky sometimes you know and you know you could lose a client you could lose your reputation so all I'm trying to tell you guys I can really help reduce risk. I can't solve everything but I can reduce that risk because some of the stuff I've probably done myself all right so what we're gonna talk about is the IM608 this client owns an auto body repair shop and I remember uh, he told me that you know what Kurt I have a, uh, a buddy who owns a, a salvage yard and I was like you know what I'm sure you know these vehicles they need keys and stuff like that and I said if he's your friend this would be a very good platform to practice so that's what he did he went there and he tried and he failed and then he gave me a call so this is the strategy that I told him that we need to do so the first step we need to do and this is a good thing to do is back up the key data when you're working on BMWs okay back it up just in case something goes wrong you can always go back and restore everything back to its original settings second step we're gonna learn the original key data all right and then the last step is to transfer the key data to the new uh, to the new key with the XP 400 all right so just don't mind the glitching guys it's trying to render so when yeah when I logged into his tablet um, something I wanted to show him and I'll show you if you go to vehicle information and for some of you who actually want to make your own keys um, on certain vehicles this thing can actually get the mechanical key cut code, which you can see right here. Okay, so that's that's pretty cool. So onward, let me go back to uh, what was it? Key operation, uh, key learning, and then I just said, look, let's re read the data. We're gonna read the data. All right, and you can see this requires uh, Wi-Fi, so you can use your Wi-Fi hotspot on your mobile phone to do this procedure. Switch the ignition switch on. Remove the key from the ignition switch. If it's a smart key, take it out the car. And then once we do that, it's gonna bring us to this menu here and you can see everything, all the key slots that are available, the key ID uh, status, the key type, and so forth. Okay, you can see slot one is the only one being used. So now that we have that, we're gonna close this. 
and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna go to backup key data, okay? And it's pretty much the same procedure. Remove the key from the Nixon switch. And once that's done, all you're gonna do is go to the bottom and click save. Okay, you see that? You're gonna click save. You get a confirmation, press okay. And then now we're gonna close this and we're gonna go try to add this key now, okay? So go to key learning, uh, key learning by OBD. All right, use this function to uh, generate a dealer key. We're gonna do number one, we're gonna add the key. All right, so I'm gonna scoot this over. Now it's asking if it's a straight blank key, please select programmer generation key. I'm gonna show you where this is. All right, we're gonna turn the ignition on, remove the key from the ignition switch, all right, then it's going to connect and take us to this menu here. Same menu. Now, look at the bottom. It says ignition switch generation key and then program generation key. Since it's a blade key, it, it prompted us to use the programmer generation key. So that's what we're going to do. So I had the client do this. We selected semi smart key. Please connect the device to the programmer and put the new key into the programming card slot. All right, so we did that. And then this is what happened. Key generate, uh, generating dealer key failed. So check the key status. So I said, okay, that's kind of weird. So let's go check the, the status of the key. So we went to key status here. Okay. And then please connect the device to the programmer. All right. And then it failed. So I said, okay, something's up. Something's up. And I asked the client, you know what? Let me validate your connection. Okay. So he gave me the, the camera view and you can see here this USB that he's using, this is the incorrect one. The one he needs to be using is this one right here. Okay, this is just uh, for transferring data from the IM608 to a computer, all right? This is the one you need to actually can do the uh, key relearning procedure. You plug this into the XP400, then on top of the tablet, okay? So now he has the new uh, cable in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's on there. And then we're gonna go try it again. All right, so we're gonna go to key operation. All right, All right. key learning, key learning by OBD. I'm just gonna speed this up. If it's a blank key, switch the ignition on, move the key from the ignition switch, da da da, all the prompts, and then we're gonna go add the key again. Okay, so let me back up. We're gonna go. Uh, program generation key, smart key. Please connect the device to the programmer and put the new key into the programmer card slot. So we're gonna do that. Then it failed again. I said, you know what? Where did you get this key? He said, you know what? I got it from a, a, a buddy of mine. He's a locksmith, but he didn't sound too confident in the locksmith skills, okay? So I said, you know what? I have a feeling something's wrong with this key, all right? And sure enough, the next day I got an email validating that. He said, hey Curtis, I just wanted to let you know that my locksmith cut the wrong kind of key on the BMW. He switched it at the insides out for me today and I followed up uh, with the steps he showed me. It worked perfectly and took less than five minutes. So he just developed a skill that he never had that took five minutes. You could charge, you know, 150, 180 bucks to do this type of procedure, okay? And he had a whole field of cars to play with. So this was, I was happy for the client. This was really a good breakthrough. So let's go to case study number two. Um, this case study, the client is a mobile technician and uh, he's getting into key coding and he just wants to practice on his own vehicle and add a key to his BMW, all right? So this strategy is, is it's pretty much the same, um, but there's a, a, a small little variation. So we're gonna learn the original key data and then on step number two, we're gonna update the cast if needed. Some cars you have to do this, some you don't. All right, the Altel will tell you. And then we're gonna transfer the key data to the to the uh, new key with the XP400, all right? So first up, we're gonna ID the vehicle. All right, that's pretty self-explanatory. And then after this, we're gonna to go to key operation. Okay, and from here, um, please connect the device to the program and put the key into the programming card slot. Okay, hold on. Key 
keylearn by OBD. Uses function to generate a dealer key. Okay, just follow the prompts. All right, switch ignition, switch on, add key. All right, so this is where it's gonna update the CAS, okay? So when we continue, um, I'm just gonna simulate it, because I didn't record it, and it's gonna update the CAS. So once we do that, then it's gonna take us to the menu to add the key, all right? So you can see the key slots available. We're gonna choose which slot we wanna do. And then remember, we're going programmer, let me put it back here, program generation key, this option right here. Okay, now listen to what it says. The current cast part number version needs a work key to do the key learning. So this means we gotta take the, the working key and put it into the XP400 first. Okay, all right, and then we're gonna follow the prompts. Reading key information, please wait. Let's go through. Key, all right, the key information was read successfully. Please proceed to the next step. So what's the next step? Uh, semi smart key. Please connect the device to the programmer and put the new key into the programmer. So we're gonna take this key out, key out and put in the new key. Bam. Follow the prompts. It's gonna do its thing. Writing keys, please wait. Generate dealer key success. Please insert the key into the ignition and start the car. Okay, and that's what the client did. He popped that bad boy in there and the car started. All right, so what I want you to learn from this, guys, is the following Make sure you have the correct setup. Okay, as I said, if you plug in these uh, cables into the correct uh, you know, devices here, it could brick. <laughs> and and uh, your your device and it also can prevent you from doing the key coding procedure so just do the, the the basics first okay the second thing is try to get a good key supplier to ensure that you have a working key there's been a couple of of, uh, of my clients who are new and they'll say oh my client has a key but the client I mean he's not an expert he'll get a key on eBay or he'll get a key from his friend and they don't understand why the key doesn't work when you're trying to do the procedure and then you waste your time so it's good to, to have a good key supplier for those of you who purchase from me I'll be more than happy to give you the suppliers I use okay um, for BMW's remember try to back up the key data first before adding the key um, as I said stuff could go wrong and having that backup file ready to go is a really good safety precaution and then lastly don't be afraid to solve a problem out of your comfort zone all right so I'm not trying to tell you guys to be ignorant but like you can kind of gauge what you can and can't do and um, you know if you like how I started my career I kind of said okay I can help somebody program uh, a vehicle and I've never done it before, but I'm really good at computers. So it was, you know, something that I did. And I, I, I'm glad that I did, because look at to where it got me now. And th there's an analogy, not an analogy, there, there's an acronym that I kind of made up. Um, it's RED, R-E-D. So it stands for Relationships, Education, and Determination. If you have these three qualities, okay, that's a very good key for success. It's been working for me, uh, me educating myself, you know, working with people who know more than me. Um, you know, those, those relationships are valuable. And then, as I said, you know, paying for courses and stuff like that um, so I can learn more and I can benefit, um, help my clients benefit from what I know. And then determination, like, I, I like to represent people who they don't have the know-how, but they have the willpower. And that's all you need, guys. And you'll learn these skills, okay? So if this inspires you and you're still on the fence and stuff and want some certainty, go to my website, alltotech.co.za, book a consultation, and I can share everything that this tool can do and other things, all right? So I hope you guys like this. Uh, thanks so much for all your guys' support, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.